welcome back to my channel. So today we're back for like one of my favorite videos ever. I love filming these types of videos and I love watching these types of videos from other creators. And we are here for another empties video. I'm gonna be talking to you about all of my recent trash, all of the recent products that I have completely finished up and my thoughts on them. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you wanna hear some trash talking, then let's go ahead and get started. Before we actually get started talking about all of my empties, I did wanna give a huge shout out and thank you for Kinder Beauty Box for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This baby right here is a subscription service that you can get monthly. Each month you're going to be getting five items that are going to be a mixture of travel size and full size products. You're gonna be getting a little bit of makeup, hair care, body care, and more. And my favorite thing about this box is that it's all brands that are cruelty free, vegan, and deemed like clean beauty brands, which I really, really enjoy. Each month you're guaranteed a value of up to $165 for as little as $23. I think that is such a good deal. You can skip any time that you want just in case you do want to skip a month. And this beauty box was created by Daniela Monet and Ivana Lynch, which Daniela was the sister from Victorious on Nickelodeon forever ago. And Ivana plays Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, which I used to watch Victorious all the time. And I've recently became like a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm like reading the books, watching all the movies. So I just think that's really cool. In the box, you're gonna get a little card that tells you all the information about each product that you are receiving that month, tells you how to use it, how much it costs, all of the above, which I just think is really nice that you're getting all the information you need. I was super excited to receive these goodies in this past month's box because there are a lot of products that like, I feel like I'm definitely going to end up using. The first one being the 103 Collection Silicone Free Heat Protectant Serum. I definitely use way too much heat on my hair and it's definitely getting a little bit damaged and having like flyaways and breakage. So this will be really awesome for the days that I want to curl my hair. We also got the Vor Sunset Ritual Signature Conditioner. This is like a leave-in conditioner. Like I said, my hair's been having a little bit of damage so this will be really nice to add into my shower routine then we got the dirty lamb ultra day serum this is supposed to brighten your skin throughout the day which like i will never say no to brighter skin so i'm definitely excited to try this serum and then last but not least we got some items from glamnetic i have tried glamnetic in the past and i was so excited to see that in this box this is their so future magnetic felt tip liner pen in the shade deep space so this is a magnetic liner pen i've demoed this in past get ready with me I have the brown one, so I'm really excited to have the black one. You just apply this like a normal liquid liner, and then along with it, they sent some of their magnetic lashes. This is in the shade Venus, which just looks like the most beautiful, like fluffy sort of hair. So I'm so excited to be using this. Like I said, I love Glamnetic. I've used them in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a link at the top of my description box for you to check it out and sign up in case you are interested. I've been getting beauty subscription boxes for years now, and it's just such a fun way to have like a little present to yourself and just say like, hey, you're awesome. Here's a monthly present to yourself. I as well as like getting the chance to try really awesome new brands and products. And again, cruelty-free, vegan, and clean beauty, which I just think is so great. So thank you again to the Kinder Beauty Box for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Thank you to you guys, because without you, I would not get opportunities like this. Now, let's start the trash talk. We're gonna start off with the most fun category in my personal opinion, and that is my makeup empties. I love finishing up makeup. I just think it's such a good feeling to know that your hard earned money was put to good use and you finish the whole thing up. And when it comes to like skincare, hair care, that kind of stuff, I feel like it's pretty fairly easy to finish that up, but makeup, makeup is hard. But I got quite a few goodies here that I have finished up. Some of them are part of my project pan. So you've already seen those in my project pan update but I'm going to re-talk about them. The first one being the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. I finished up this whole massive bronzer. I felt so stinking good about this. I'm gonna 1 million percent repurchase this in the future. This is such a beautiful bronzer. It's a really nice tone for my fair skin. It gives a little bit of sheen and glow, which makes you just look like healthy and beautiful. And I love this. I've got actually gotten one of my best friends, Courtney, to try this out and she loved it as well. And she's already like used one up too and rebought it. So this one is definitely a good one. I also finished up the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation. And this I have the shade 105 Fair. I like this foundation, I do. I mentioned in my Project Pan update that I felt like towards the end of it, it was just getting a little bit, not wonky, like it was going bad. It just wasn't like performing as well as I remember. This used to be one of my favorite foundations. And I don't know if the formula changed because it was a little bit older or my preferences changed. But either way, it's nice and matte, it's full coverage. It wears pretty nicely throughout the day. I don't see myself repurchasing it, but I did like it while I was using it. I also finished up the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. In this, I had the shade Birch. 
I really like this concealer. I didn't like it at first, but it really grew on me, especially as I was using it up in my project pan. It is full coverage. It blends in nicely. It wears nicely all day. It is full coverage. Did I mention that? It is full, full coverage. So if you need to just cover up every, everything, I would definitely check this out. I can see myself repurchasing this in the future, but not right now. I also finished up the Smashbox, the original photo finish smooth and blur primer. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm telling you, I still love this primer and I've been using it for years and years. I wanna say this is like my third or fourth tube of it that I've been through. When it says smooth and blur, it means smooth and blur. It blurs and smooths. I said that backwards to change it up. Are you happy? <laughs> it blurs and smooths all of my pores. It just makes you look so airbrushed and flawless. It's very silicone-y though. So if you don't like those type of primers, I would steer clear. And as you're like blending it in, it almost feels like it's gonna pill. Like you're like, is this gonna pill? Is this gonna pill? But it never does and it ends up looking beautiful. So definitely can see myself using this again in the future. I finally finished up my dang Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is the mini size and it lasted me my entire life. It literally lasted so long. I could not be more excited to finish it up. It's a good brow gel. I do enjoy it. But I can't see myself repurchasing this in the future. I believe this one was sent to me in PR. But I don't know. If you want to give it a go, I would definitely wait until it's on sale because benefits always on sale. And then I finished up a little mini of the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. If you need a hydrating primer, this is it, baby. Like this was so, so hydrating. And I feel like by the end of the day, it did make my skin a little bit oily and greasy. However, I have combo skin where my T-zone pretty much always gets oily and greasy and this just didn't help that. So I would not pick up a full size of this, but like I said, if you have dry skin or like coming up in the winter months, if you just get like extra dry, you know, later in the year, I would check this out. It is very hydrating and beautiful and does sink into the skin. Just for me and my skin type, I don't think it's one that I would get a full size. And the last but not least, I finished up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is such a good setting spray. It is like my favorite setting spray ever. I repurchased a full size. I'm already almost halfway through it. Like I love this. I will probably always repurchase this. I'm hoping she probably won't, but I'm hoping she never gets rid of this because it is my holy grail. Then we have a product that's like a mixture between makeup and skincare. So I'll go ahead and sandwich it in between those two genres. And this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I really like this cleansing balm. I really do. I think it's nice and emollient. It does take off my makeup very well. It doesn't like irritate my eyes or like clog my pores, break me out, anything like that. I do use this as a first cleanse and then go in with a second cleanse after that. I definitely recommend doing a double cleanse if you are someone who wears makeup every day. Usually one sort of cleanse like this or a makeup wipe or anything it's just not enough to get all of your makeup off and truly truly cleanse your skin so i don't have plans to read do i have a backup of this i'm trying to think if i have another one in my collection i want to say no but i don't have plans to repurchase it right this second because i have like a dermatological one that i have in backup and i'm also using the first aid beauty cleansing oil right now so i don't have plans to repurchase this but i definitely would in the future i really do enjoy this and we have some skincare to talk about the first one being the cosrx advanced snail 96 mucin power essence that is quite the name yes you heard that right snail mucin oh it sounds disgusting to put on your face like Emily like used a whole thing as snail mucin, yeah. But this is so lovely and hydrating and calming on the skin. It's super, super hyped up and for good reason. This just sinks into your skin, makes you look so gluey, gluey? I meant to say glowy and dewy. Makes you look so gluey and healthy and just, this is a beautiful product. I use this in my nighttime skincare routine. I feel like it would be a little too glowy for the daytime, but like I said, it's just super hydrating and calming. Snail mucin, I guess, is like really good for your skin. Who knew? Not me. I did already repurchase another one of this. I haven't started using it quite yet because I'm using the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. I believe that's what it's called. And they're not like totally the same thing, but I try not to have too many skincare items open at once. I don't want to be wasteful. I really do like to finish things up. So when I finish that Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, I'm going to open my other one of this. If you have not tried this, I recommend. It's a really lovely product. If you can get past the fact that it's like snail mucin because that's kind of gross but it's lovely <laughs> i probably should have talked about this next product before the cause rx one because it's a makeup removing product but it's okay i've talked about it a million times in the past anyways this is the equate beauty oil free eye makeup remover cleanse this is so good i just put this on a cotton round at the end of the day and this is what i use to remove my eye makeup it's really really nice i've been using this for years does this get every single solitary last ounce of eye makeup 
no but then i go in with a cleansing balm i then cleanse my face i use a makeup eraser so like eventually after all of those steps my eye makeup comes off but this is good it's only a couple dollars at walmart again i've been using it for years I'll probably always buy this. Then I used up a full size of the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. This is a really, really lovely cleanser. And it's a basic cleanser, but I mean that in the best way possible. There's no frills, there's no scent. It's good for sensitive skin. It says it removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. Sure, I don't really know about that. I would either use this in the morning time where I'm just rinsing off my skincare routine from the night before or as my second cleanse at night. But at that point, I had kind of already removed my makeup. But if you have sensitive skin and you just need a good, basic, no frills cleanser, I recommend this one. I have too many cleansers in my collection right now to repurchase a full size. And I think this was sent to me PR from the brand, but I really do recommend and enjoy it. Then we have a toner here from Dermalogica. This was their multi-active toner. I don't really know like what this did for my skin, but I did enjoy using it while I used it. I do like to use a toner morning and night, and I like that this was a spray bottle. However, I ended up just spraying it in my hand and then patting it on my face with my hands, which is kind of how you would use any other toner that you would like pour into your hand. So I don't think the spray bottle like really did much. I didn't spray it on my face, but it's nice to have the option in case you want to. Again, I don't really know what this did, but it was nice on my skin. It sunk in. It worked well with all my other skincare, so I liked it. I don't think I would see myself repurchasing this. This was sent to me in PR. Next up, I used up the Coco Kine Ceramide Barrier Serum. This is a nourishing daily serum for skin barrier support. I really, really enjoyed this a lot. I think this was a beautiful serum that I used in the morning time. I'm not a dermatologist, so like, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure your skin barrier is just like the layer of skin that kind of protects it. It can get kind of messed up if you go in with too harsh of ingredients or ingredients that are exfoliating too often. And if you mess up your skin barrier, you're gonna get like redness, dryness, flakiness, irritation. So this was just a really nice product to have in my morning skincare routine to just kind of help my skin barrier every day. Again, kind of like most of the skincare products I'm talking about, I don't know if I notice like a immediate result. It's not something that I put this on and was like, oh, my skin barrier is nice and refreshed. Like I didn't feel like that, but I really, really like this. I do feel like it helped just like calm my face down. It was nice and thin. It sunk right in, worked well with all my other skincare. This one was sent to me in PR, but I will 1 million percent repurchase it. Then I went through a baby of the Tatcha, the dewy skin cream. I wish a full size of this was not so dang expensive. I want to say it's like 60 something dollars, which is so much for a moisturizer, but I actually really do enjoy this moisturizer a lot. It's a really nice thick formulation. Not that you can see it's all gone, but it doesn't really like sink into my skin too well, but I use this as my nighttime skincare routine. So I didn't really care if it was a little bit on the dewy side, but it is also called the dewy skin cream. So that would make sense. But this is just really, really nice and hydrating and moisturizing. When I would wake up in the morning, I just felt like my skin was just like, just like super moisturized and like ready for the day. I really do enjoy this. If I ever saw a Tatcha on sale or I was lucky enough to receive PR from them, I would 1 million percent reuse this, but just the full price, I cannot bring myself to buy it, but I do really enjoy it. Next up, I used up an Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Drops. This is in the light shade. I love these. I've been using this for years. I've recommended this on my channel a bajillion times. I have counted. It is exactly one bajillion times. It's just so stinking good. They're so easy to use. You just drop them into your moisturizer that you put on after your shower. I'm someone who always goes in with lotion after my shower. So if you are not used to that step, I don't know how much you would like these, but as someone who is already used to that step, this is so easy. You just drop them into your lotion and rub it in like normal. And there you go. That's all you got to do. And then you wake up the next day super bronzed and glowy. So yeah, I really love these. I already repurchased a light one and I also bought a medium one as well because they're just so good and I just need both of them in my life. I used up a Billy Shave Cream. This is another product that I've talked about a lot of times on my channel before. I've been using Billy for years at this point. I buy it myself. I get the razors and the shave cream sent to me every couple of months. It's a good one. Is it my favorite shave cream ever? Probably not, but I do enjoy it. I use up this huge honking body wash. <laughs> this is the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash. It's supposed to soothe itchy dry skin. I bought this a really long time ago. Like this big tub took me 
quite a while to finish, but I did enjoy this. It kind of like the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. This is like a no frill sort of body wash. It doesn't have a scent. It doesn't lather too, too much. It rinses off nice and easily. It doesn't leave like a weird film on your skin. I don't know if it really super helped like soothe my dry skin and it does get itchy in the winter when it gets dry. I don't know if it really did that much. But I did enjoy using this. I'm not going to repurchase it right now because I have another one I'm using and that was just so large. It just took forever to get through, but that could be a good thing. But yeah, Aveeno is a really nice brand. I did enjoy it. And last but not least, we have an O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Cream. I love this stuff. I love it so much. But this is the night treatment version. I guess they have this one and then the original. I actually like this one more than the original. I'm going through an original right now and then I have an another one in backup. But when I have to repurchase these hand creams, I'm going to purchase the night cream. This one was just a little bit thinner of a formula, which is funny. You would think the night cream would be the thicker one. But in my opinion, it's not. It just sinks right in, works really nicely with dry skin. If you have like dry cracked hands that just crack and bleed like I do, you need this in your life. And that was it, you guys. That was all of my recent empties that I have finished up. I feel good about this pile. I feel like it's a little bit smaller than normal, but maybe I'm just imagining things. But I had some makeup, some skincare, some hair care, all of that. I actually don't think I had any hair care. I think I just lied to you. But anyways, I feel really good about this pile. I love finishing up products. Thank you to the Kinder Beauty Box for sponsoring the earlier portion of the video. Like I said, I'm gonna have my link in the top of the description box for you to check them out if you are curious. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much, you're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.